Hello, hello, this is Umberto and this is the HVAC, it's my channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to edit room dimensions, okay? So we are on, we're trying to cover the basics so that way uh, once I do other designs, we're going to be completely more effective and we're going to understand better how everything works, okay? Okay, so we're going to edit rooms. So what we're going to do first, uh, we need to see this grid system. So in the grid system, we're going to go check in here and then we go to drawing and we go to grid settings and by default is 12 by 12. So we're going to change that to six, six in here, six inches, six inches, six inches. It's more precise. And then you're going to hit okay. And then you're going to have these smaller dots. Okay. So in the other video, we saw that the we have different options of placing a room, okay? So now if we click in here and we create a room, this room is gonna be, for example, there we go, we have 10, okay, let's see, 10 by nine, okay? Okay, we have the room 10 by nine. What happens if you want to change the room dimension? If you want to change the room dimension, you click on the room, you have two options. You can drag it from here and it's going to change the size. See, as you can see, it's now 13 by 9, 9 by 13, 14, 16, 15, see? If you want to change the room dimension to the right, you can click in here. And as you can see, the arrow, the arrow, the cursor changes in shape. It says you can move left or right. So we're going to change it to the right. See, 11. There we go. Or if you want to change both dimensions, you can click in here at the corner. And then the cursor is going to change too. So you can all change it together. There we go. So you're, you're changing the shape. Okay, so if you want to be more precise in here, and that's the reason of this video, number one, click on the room, okay, hold shift, I'm holding shift right now, and then click the arrows, in this case we're going to click the arrow down, okay, we're clicking the arrow down and see the size changes, and how can you know what size you're changing it to? You can see the room size right here at the corner, right? So in here it says uh, 14, okay? So let's click in here and then let's go to make it 14, 15, 16, 17. Or, you, or if you, I'm holding shift and if you hold shift and shift and then you click on the upper arrow, so it's going to decrease the size, see? Now it is 10 feet. 11, 12, 13. If you want to change the size to the right, then you hit, uh, continue holding the shift button and then you press the right arrow. See, now it's nine, now it is 10, now it is 11, now it's 12. If you want to reduce the size, you can hit the hold shift and then press the right the left arrow see it's 11 it's 10 it's 9 see those are the tricks that I'm, I'm i'm creating so now you have to also understand that you can always you can only change the room sizes of the top and the right you cannot change the sizes of these upper walls that's kind of your reference. So whenever you're clicking shift and the arrows, you're going to be able to change down and up. See, left and right like this, but you're not going to be able to change this upper side. For example, I'm going to create another room. Control C, Control V. There we go. And Control C, Control V. I'm, I'm, I, I'm having this. Okay, so what happens if you have this kind of room and then you wanna you wanna you want to increase the size of room number 24 so that way it matches with this wall. Okay, so if you click hold shift and then click the arrow that is going up, it's not gonna do anything, right? 
you're not gonna be able to do anything or to the right you're, you're not gonna be able to do anything the reason is you don't need this shift arrow because you can easily you are not holding shift you're just gonna press on the arrows see arrows with no shift and then you can all you can move the room like that all right already so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did hit the like button and subscribe all right thanks for watching my channel hvac is mad